there, there is no reason why any parent would not know where their child is located. I could, at the stroke of, at, the, at keystrokes, I've sat on the ORR portal with, with just basic keystrokes within seconds, could find any child in our care for any parent. Basic keystrokes? Turns out that's not the case. CNN's Miguel Marquez joins us now from Texas with the story of one migrant mother desperately trying to get her son back. And Miguel, you have an update to this story that you've been following uh, from just tonight. The more we learn, Ryan, the more we realize how confused this entire mess is. Uh, yes, if they are in custody, as the Secretary of Health and Human Services says, he could find the parents and he could find the kids if they're both in custody, if they've been deported, the parents and the kids still here, if the kids have been deported, if the parents have been bonded out, which is now starting to happen for many, many uh, individuals. We know of 16 in just this area of South Texas in the last few days that have either gotten bond or will soon make bond and be out. We've been talking to this one woman, uh, Lesvia. She's 39. She's from Guatemala. She just got out about 72 hours ago. She knows her son is here in this facility in Brownsville, Texas. She came here today hoping to take him home with her. They let him. They let her see him for an hour. She came out and talked to us afterward. I tried to get a word in about how her son is doing. Here's here's her response. Veinte días más. I cannot get in a question to this woman without her. She is wrecked emotionally. Her son, she said, is wrecked emotionally. They had a, a very good hour uh, chat in there. Um, she says that they're telling her that it'll take 30 days, at least 30 days, to get her son back. Essentially what the government is saying is even though we separated you when you crossed the border, even though you came across as, as a family, even though we said you, we knew where you were, who you were, and who your kids were, once you are out on this end, once you've bonded out, we are going to treat your son as an unaccompanied minor, as though he came across the border himself. And now you, 39-year-old woman from Guatemala who's just got out and doesn't have any documentation, you have to prove to us that this is in fact your son. That is a process that takes, on average, about 30 days. If, if this is the first person who's gotten in to see her son and it's going to take her 30 days, there's nobody getting out right now that is going to see their kid before that 26th deadline, much less next Tuesday. So it sounds like the administration wants to put those that are in detention now together and keep them in detention somewhere. The others, it, it's just going to be a crapshoot. Ryan? You know, Miguel, I'm sure you don't have the answer to this question, but I mean, how is it that these families that are attempting to abide by the laws as they exist, but then when the laws or the status of the children that they're trying to be reunited with changes uh, through no fault of their own, how can they possibly uh, get, their, get into a situation where they can be reunited with their children? It seems to be so difficult. It's, it's, a, it, it's a bureaucratic shell game. The, the, the government uh, separated them at the beginning of the process. They never seem to have any way to prove what parent went with what child. They put them in separate facilities all over the country and then told us all the way along that there was a process to reunite them but now that they're out there is no process they're saying mm -hmm. you have to apply just like anybody else who has an unaccompanied minor in our care no questions asked now there's a lot of legal stuff and there's a lot of politics happening be right. behind the scenes so that may change stay tuned all right miguel marquez thank you for your excellent reporting obviously a lot more uh, of this story that still needs to be told thank you sir even as Health and Human Services officials say they may need an extension on their deadlines to reunify families, there are some heart-wrenching reunions taking place. CNN had cameras rolling as a mother and daughter found each other in Boston after some two months apart. <laughs>